Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've done a video almost like this, but this is a little bit different. A gentleman uh, from across the pond, I don't know where he lives, he's uh, evidently not from the United States, and is having trouble, and he's asked for me to make an outline of Donald Duck, and I'm going to get people saying, well, you can't use that because it's copyrighted, but I brought it in, it was rather big when I cut and pasted. So I reduced it in size so Corel won't have as hard a time tracing it. And then I converted it to a grayscale. And then I traced it. And there's plenty of videos out there and trace. But the, the problem with creating a bound, boundary is that when you select all this, the boundary tool doesn't show up. It's because it's all grouped together. So you need to go to Arrange, Group and ungroup the object and you can see right there there's your boundary tool now Donald Duck is only one inch across so I'm going to set my nudge factor on two I'm going to select Donald Duck and I'm going to put a boundary and there's your boundary and it has no inner parts it's transparent and that's how you would do that now with that said I'm a big believer in not cutting right on the wood so I would want to take that and go to a range. Uh, we shouldn't have to, but let's break curve apart. And do not ever move it. You know, manually nudge it. And then we're going to go to effects, contour. And that's why you can't contour it. Let's group it. Now you can contour it. Evidently there were some broken lines. To the outside, and since it's real little, we're just going to contour it 0 0.002. Got a little bit of a contour. Let's see how much it is. That's probably not enough. Let's back up here and go 0 0.005. That'd be good enough. Then go to Effects, Break Contour Apart. If you grab the center, you get the red line, then grab the black, and I would make it red, so I'm going to right click, and then put it back on Donald Duck, and that would engrave and cut out. It needs to be cleaned up. I didn't clean up the clip art. There's a few rough spots like right there, and the contour tool is going to pick those up, so you need to kind of clean that up, and I don't know how this would engrave. You'd have to look at it because there is some white. So I would, you know, maybe range and ungroup it. I'm evidently getting the contour. It is ungrouped already. And I would just delete those parts and make them black. You wouldn't want his face black so you could left click, nudge it out of the way. It's going to really interfere with the other one. I'm going to nudge it up. I'm going to put an outline around it. I'm going to take away. Let's zoom in here. Yep. You'd have to do that for all of it and then move the black out of the way. Take his mask. Put it back. And now you have an outline that's clear. And transparent and you can do the same thing with the with the eyes this exact same thing just make them no feel left click and outline and then put it back of course I've moved it manually so you need to nudge it let's nudge it over tell you what let me change my nudge factor to half of an inch or one inch nudge his eyes over one inch Put no fill, outline, and then nudge it back. And then you could create any color you wanted. You know, you could put, make his face a little light gray. I mean, there's a lot you could do with this. But anyway, that wasn't the real question. The gentleman was asking me how to put an outline. And that's how you would put the outline. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.